we will discuss about celiac disease so what is celiac disease celiac disease is also known as gluten insensitivity celiac disease is gluten intolerance it is mainly seen in the northern part of uh, indian subcontinent along with the northeast areas where the staple uh, diet consists of predominantly wheat and the incidence is very less in the south where the predominant staple diet is rice but because of the change in the dietary patterns and adoption of this north indian lifestyle the consumption of wheat has also increased in the southern regions of indian subcontinent so when we go into this we know that we have allergies dust allergies pollen allergies pet dander allergies like that is an allergy to the wheat in the sense the proteins of the wheat called gluten allergy uh, in some individuals it is predisposed and because of that they have a lot of gi problems so they will have problems like uh, anemia that is less hemoglobin weight loss uh, they will have chronic diarrhea chronic watery stools pain of abdomen ulcers in the stomach and small bowel the child it can affect even the children also the child may not be able to gain the weight and uh, they will be continuously losing weight even after consumption of adequate food uh, they are not able to tolerate the food and because of the abdominal fullness bloating and uh, these are the symptoms of the celiac disease not only that it can also affect other organs like it can cause damage to the liver by causing inflammation of the liver and in the long term this continuous uh, inflammation if it is not found out and treated appropriately it can become refractory uh, celiac disease refractory in the sense they don't respond to the normal medication let's discuss that what is the treatment for the celiac disease it is a gluten free diet please don't diagnose celiac disease by yourself seeing the online videos and start uh, make keeping yourself on the gluten free diet the reason is uh, it is it is only subset of population who really require that gluten free diet it is very costly and uh, in addition it is not required for all the population so please don't please consult a doctor please meet a gastroenterologist before confirming you have a celiac disease and in the long term if the celiac disease is not properly managed it can become a cancer too so that is why it is very important to evaluate diarrhea abdominal pain short stature and failure to gain height and weight and failure to perform better uh, in the school not only that if there is anemia and vitamin deficiencies we have to think of celiac disease this is more uh, important considering if the individuals are coming from the northern geographic part of the india and uh, in addition to the wheat the people have to avoid uh, oats barley and rye r y e so this all the four varieties that is a wheat rye oats and barley they contain the gluten and they should not take gluten many a times if they are if they are on a gluten free diet their symptoms will be controlled and they will be having a normal life so this is about celiac disease so early diagnosis and proper management will prevent the uh, trans transfer of these diseases and uh, early diagnosis and proper management will helps in the proper management of these diseases and prevents cancer in the long term thank you